what's up guys Vasylum here today and uh, my game winning kill video got 30 likes which means I'm posting my color correction and render settings tutorial so let's get started first thing and this is for Sony Vegas so uh, let's get started this is the third time I've done this had some technical difficulties first two times but hopefully this one comes out well alright Sony Vegas alright so first thing you want to do is go to project import media and just import a clip uh, uh, all right got a clip so take it drag it on into the timeline and for the purposes of this video I will make two copies of this just so you can see the before and after results let's find a spot where you can kinda tell it all right that's a good spot all right, so first thing you, you're going to want to do is to uh, right-click the video. Uh, right-click the video. Okay, right-click the video, hit Properties, and Disable Resample. As you can see, it kind of takes out the ghosting and motion blur that you do not want. It is very bad. I'll just do it to this clip, too. And also, uh, I've already rendered this clip, but I haven't put any uh, color correction on it. I've just uh, taken out black lines. But on an HD um, PVR, you get these black lines in the top and um, like in the top and to the right of your clip. They're just really small, but it's really good to take them out. So basically, what you want to do is click this button right here. Uh, drag it in a little bit but I have already done it and I usually have a preset that I use and so uh, yeah you just yeah uh, so you just do that okay and so now let's get into the color correction and make sure this is on best full uh, if you want to kind of see the full results of the, the thing Alright, so go into Video Effects, Sharpen, Dragon, uh, Reset to None. I have a preset though, and it is basically at zero. Uh, you may think, well, it's at zero that doesn't do anything, but it actually does sharpen it a small amount. It's subtle, but very good, so make sure you do that. Next thing you want to do is go to Saturation Adjust, and I have a preset. Let's drag it in here. And uh, I'll give you my numbers. Uh, just drag and reset to none and enter the numbers. We got a amount is 0 0.2500, center is 0, spread is 1, low is uh, 0 0.1200, and high is 0 0.1200. <coughs> so, yeah, just enter those numbers. And after that, you're going to want to drag in reduce oversaturated so that. Anything that's a little bit too oversaturated uh, gets rid of that and just kind of lowers it a little bit. And so it kind of normalizes it. All right, now you want to go up here to brightness and contrast and drag in reset to none. I have a preset. And I'll give you my numbers here again. We got brightness at negative 0.05, contrast at 10, and contr um, my bad, uh, 0 0.10, and contrast center at 0.11. And so let's take a look at these color correction before and after. See, it gets much uh, sharper, uh, more colors, not as flat. You can kind of see the gray over the video without it and with. And it just looks a whole lot better. I'm not sure how this would, would look on a Dazzle, but it looks amazing on a PVR. And yeah, let's get on into the render settings and project pro properties. So click this button right here. It's uh, right up here, project video properties. So you can press Alt Enter. And we don't want to use that. Uh, so I have a preset. And for all these, you can just save them um, presets so you don't have to like enter the numbers every time. So uh, we have width here at 1280 by 720. So put your width at 1280 and height at 720. Field order none. Pixel aspect ratio 1.0 and frame rate. Uh, there's no option for this, so you're gonna have to type in 59.94. That is usually what PVRs render as. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, full res resolution rendering quality, you're gonna want to put it at best. De interlace method, you want to put at none. Check the box that says adjust source media to better match project or render settings, and you can check this if you want. And then you hit OK. 
and you've got your clip right here all right you want to render it out so basically you just highlight it so just highlight which one. Uh, project render as and you want to go under save as type well first you want to find your destination all right and save as type you want to click main concept AVC slash AAC mp4 and I have a preset right here and let's copy you basically hit custom you like find one hit custom and uh, save a preset make a default template and save it as a preset all right and you put uh, custom frame size at width at 1280 height at 720 profile main frame rate again no option so you're gonna have to type in 59.94 do not check this box under it that says allow source to adjust frame rate. Field order put none. Pixel aspect ratio um, put 1.0. Number of reference frames 4. And uh, check the variable bit rate thing, not the constant bit rate. And put 14 million in both the maximum and average bits BPS. I don't know what that. Alright. Yeah. And yeah, 14 million. And then you want to go to audio. And I have my sample rate on 48,000 because I don't think higher things actually work for me. And bitrate, I just have it all the way up. I want some high quality audio. All right, project, best. This is very important. Put it on best so it looks good. Best settings. And that's basically it. Hit OK, save your preset. And those are my render settings and color correction. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and if you want me to post any other tutorials on Sony Vegas or uh, After Effects just post it in the comment box and I'll see what I can do. Alright, I'll see you guys later.